Hello, my name is Michael and I'm a welding specialist at Megatronic. Today I'm going to talk about our function we call Tick Attack, which is on all our Pi machines. I'm going to talk about how to set up the machine, where it can be used, and we'll see some practical examples in the workshop. If you're welding with Tick and you're working with the austenitic stainless steel, which is unmagnetic, you might experience that it takes a lot of time. If you put too much heat into the material, you get a discoloration, maybe even you destroy the material because you destroy all the chromium inside. Maybe you have to use back purging in form of a gas and you spend a lot of time with post-treatment. Are you using the right gas? If you're only using argon, there are different solutions for this problem. You can use hydrogen content in the argon for shielding gases or also for back purging or you can use Formia gas as back purging gas. So what is Tick Attack? It is a semi-automated process and it's controlled by our milliseconds over a certain amount of amps. Make sure you have the same distance from the tungsten to the material. Traditional tacking requires more time because maybe you have to use back purging. You provide the material with a lot more heat, so the discoloration, you have to deal with that, it takes time. And maybe also use filler rod. Fixation is short preparation time, lower heat input, invisible fixations, that means on the backside, you can't see you have made a fixation, and it's easy to set up, and it doesn't require filler rod. So where can we use our tick attack? In the austenitic stainless steels, which is the unmagnetic ones, it's tailor-made for the process industry or in thin materials. So tick attack can be used in various industries. So now you have heard a little bit about our tick attack function. Now let's go out in the workshop and see how to set it up and I'll give you an example where to use it. Welcome to our workshop. I'll now demonstrate and show you how easy it is to set up our function tick attack and after that I'll demonstrate a standard tagging and then I'll show you how to make a fixation with our tick attack. I will now show you how to use our function tick attack. First, we need to find our tag function. Press here so you can see it's active. Then we have to go to our main menu in the second parameters. If you press one time, you can see the tacking function is in function. Now we have to find a time. I will try to find a time that says 0 0.03. Next step is to find some amperage. And in this case, I will try to set it on 160 amps. And then we need to test it. So now the machine is set. I get 160 amps over 0 0.03. Three seconds. So now we need to test it. Tick attack is suitable for austenitic stainless steel. This type of steel is very ductile, so that means it's easy to weld. You can easily bend it. So it's the best performance you get if you use the tick attack function in this type of material. So that was the difference between a tack and a fixation. If we take a look at the fixation and the tacking, it's clear to see that the tacking provides the material a lot more heat, so there is a risk that we destroy the material. The fixations, very shiny, small fixations, and if we take a look on the back side, it's clearly that we cannot see more or less a mark on the back side, but the tacking we can really see that it provides the material with a lot of heat. So to summarize our tick attack function, it's a semi-automated process and it's controlled by milliseconds over a certain amount of amps. It's made for fixation the material. It's especially designed for process industry and it's so easy to use. Thank you for watching. See you next time.